Greetings everyone, TJB Chris here. It's been a little while, but I'm back with a video for the TRS-80 Model 16B. This one's going to be a bit of a quickie. The whole point of tonight's video is just to install Tristos version 4.2 onto this machine in place of Xenix. I won't be entirely replacing Xenix. I'm just going to take a backup of the image and then format over it because I'm going to want this as a Xenix machine most of the time. But for a series of projects and things I've got coming up, I'm going to want a hard disk installation of Tristos 4.2, and since I have the Fred 4.8 on this machine, it's much easier on this machine than it is on my 16A, and that's because the DREM is enclosed in that enclosure there, and I have to pull it out and modify the config files, and quite frankly, that machine works great as a Xenix 3.3 box, so I'm just not going to mess with it. So, what we're going to do is take a quick backup of the Xenix image, then I'm going to throw the hard disk SD card back in the Fred 4.8, we're going to boot up Tristos 4.2 using Lothrec, and we're going to get cracking. And here we are with the SD card, and I'll just zoom in a little bit there so you can see that. So I've already taken a backup of my Xenix 3.2 image here, August 30th, 2022. Sorry for the screen looking funky there. And I also have here Hard 4.0. I don't know why the date's all funky on some of those, but it, it in fact is. Okay, well, whatever. Doesn't matter, as long as it works, it should be fine. All right, let's get this ejected. Save to remove. Now let's drop her. Sorry for spinning too much. Drop this into the Fred 4.8. And we should get a little blink of the light. I believe we did. And we're going to insert this SD card, which should give us Tristos 4.2. Yep, TDOS 4.2.5. And now we're going to start her up. All right, to boot from floppy disk, since we have a hard disk installed, I have to hold repeat and break while I boot. Um, since there's a Xenix image on the SD card, it will try to boot that. Just give me the bootloader options, but I'd rather not do that. So, there we go. random beep there. Okay, so two things I'm going to apologize for. One, the static shot. Two, the beeping until I can type click off. And you know what? You can go click off right now. Okay, so let's format the drive. The drive in this case is going to be four. And I'm going to go with a standard 15 meg size for these machines, six heads, 306 cylinders. This contains data, so that's a good thing. Let's use it. Here we go. All right, we'll check back when this is done formatting. Okay, it was 8.28 when I started this. And it is now... 8.57, so it took 29 minutes, not too bad. Let's just eject this disk and see if it works. Looks like it's working. Looking for a disk in the drive, there is none. Loading much faster now. I caught a little Fred glitch where sometimes the Fred 4.8 hangs. Lights on here, let's see. It should have loaded by now. Oh yeah, light's stuck on. Yeah, it does this. So what happens, the light gets stuck on and the thing just freezes. And this happens when you try to boot Xenix occasionally too. And now I'll just pop this in. I like the Fred 4.8, but I do uh, fight this every now and then. I 
and now it boots up. So this is one of those cases where the frag can get finicky. And if you're booting Xenix, what you'll often see is you'll get prompted, um, I say it'll say no bad T program or something like that. And sometimes the prompt will finish out and you can push enter and keep doing that and it'll boot. Other times you get halfway through the prompt or otherwise and the Fred just goes into a state of stroke and then you have to remove power from the thing. It won't function until you do. Um, I'm not exactly sure why that is. I've read on some of the forums in Discord that this is a fairly common problem with Fred 4.8, although it's generally attributed to Xenix, so it's weird that it happens with Tristos. But what's funny is whether Xenix or Tristos, once the thing powers up, it works great. So either way, it should work for the purposes of this. I'm going to do a little bit of work on it now and just play around with the machine and see if it actually seems to function and if it's fairly stable. Usually once you get the thing to boot, it's stable. It's just a matter of getting the damn thing to boot. So let's see what we got. Alright, so it is still the 30th. We're up. Yeah, four says I forgot. Oh, that's quite a bit fa faster than the floppy disks. Seems to be working just great. Terminal. Oh, that's also this machine needs to click off. Okay. I'm gonna try and save a file to the hard disk. Ten. Twenty. Print. even better. Let's say, oops, that's not a Model 4. Seems to work. Perfect. Okay, so that is interesting. It seems to be working good now that it's up. I'm just type A equals. I'm just going to type in random stuff, make sure it works. Okay, port A enabled. On status. I guess that's because there's nothing to help. So it seems as though, now that the thing is up, that it's pretty stable. So I think this is just like with the Xenix thing. Once you get the thing to boot, you're fine. But uh, getting it to boot, um, if anybody watching has a Fred 4.8, um, knows what this is about. It's always done it since I've had this. Um, once it boots, it's fine. I've changed out and remade it and made another cable. Um, I haven't tried to see if there's any updated firmware or, you know, any programming changes for the gal or anything yet on the Fred. Uh, maybe I'll go down that road. Um, and not a complaint about the Fred 4.8. The Fred 4.8 is awesome and I love it. Um, but I know I'm not the only one with issues with it kind of hanging up on boot. And while it's typically associated with Xenix, I have seen it with Tristos 4.2 as well. Um, once you can get the thing to boot, it seems to be fine. Let's see what happens now if I reboot it. Nope, I think it just hung. Oh, nope, still going. Yep, it's going to boot. There it goes. Jump the gun. 2-1-0-6. Very good. Well, that'll do it for this video. I really just wanted to get Tristos 4.2 on here. So, uh, until next time, when you'll see this machine along with the Model 16 and the Model 12. 
Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.